2023. The Swiss Federal Institute of Technology's engineers have created a special robot named MORI-3 for use in space missions. It is composed of smaller components that can be joined to form various shapes, such as triangle-shaped buildings, in contrast to large robots. These components function as a unit, sharing a common brain. It can alter its size, shape, and function to perform a variety of tasks in space, such as supporting astronauts on Mars or the Moon. It's useful for routine space tasks because it can move around, carry objects, and communicate with people. This new approach to robotics challenges our preconceived notions about them. The team thinks such robots can be applied in many ways to space exploration, helping to solve issues in confined and challenging areas. Leonardo Leonardo, a new robot, can walk and fly, making it special. It's designed to do tough jobs that normal robots and drones can't. Leo is light but strong with special computer programs that make it stable on the ground and in the air. It's not heavy, just 5.7 pounds, and not too tall at 2.5 feet. Leo has skinny legs that help it take off and electric thrusters that help it fly well. They tested Leo by having him skateboard and walk on a tightrope. Because it can do both walking and flying, Leo can inspect power lines and tall bridges and help during disasters. It's very useful for checking important things. Snag a brand new robotic bird called Snag is able to land on branches and carry objects. A group of engineers from the universities of Groningen and Stanford created it. The robot is modeled after a peregrine falcon and is powered by quadcopter drone technology for flight. Much heavier objects than it can support are carried by it. With the help of motors, muscles, tendons, and 3D-printed plastic bones, Snag can perch like a real bird. It can land smoothly on branches thanks to its 14-way leg movement. Its legs take up the impact of landing and seize hold of the branch with lightning speed. For balance, sensors are also used. This robot could be utilized for environmental research, wildlife observation, and rescue operations. Jumping Robot An extremely high-flying robot has been developed by researchers. It functions by squatting, accumulating energy, and then springing into the air. The robot is quite basic, resembling an archer's bow with its large carbon fiber springs and tiny motor. It can safely store energy thanks to these springs. When the robot is prepared, it leaps extremely quickly. In just 9 milliseconds, it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. It can even leap to a height of nearly 100 feet. Its shape changes as it jumps, becoming more like an arrow and increasing its speed. The robot's ability to remain intact when it hits the ground again is astounding. Aqua Jelly an unusual flying object called the aqua jelly is made to resemble the motion of a jellyfish. It moves inside through a unique process known as peristaltic propulsion. Eight pliable tentacles on the air jelly mimic the motions of a real jellyfish. It uses the recoil principle, which is similar to how jellyfish move in water, to propel itself forward with the help of these electrically powered tentacles. The air jelly weighs only 1.3 kilograms, which is incredibly light considering its size. It floats thanks to a helium-filled balloon inside its body, batteries, and an electric drive. It can move in any direction in three dimensions by changing its weight and applying peristaltic propulsion. The fin ray effect, a natural phenomenon, is used in the design of the air jelly's tentacles, enabling them to bend and move against forces to help the flying jellyfish glide through the air like its biological counterpart. J 
JPL's snake robot. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory at NASA has developed EELS, a unique snake-like robot. It is not a typical space robot. It can fit through small openings beneath ice on far-off worlds. It is 220 pounds in weight, 13 feet long, and has 10 rotating parts that allow it to move, grasp, and hold onto objects. It can function independently, navigating challenging environments and identifying threats. With four camera pairs and advanced technology, it can create three-dimensional maps of its surroundings. This aids in its intelligent navigation system, which selects the safest route. This robot's ability to sense its environment, make decisions, and solve problems on its own is crucial for exploring challenging areas. Le Grand Elephant Up to 50 people can ride in the massive mechanical elephant known as the Grand Elephant. It is driven by an environmentally friendly hybrid motor and has the appearance of a moving building. This enormous elephant, which is primarily composed of steel and wood, weighs 48.4 metric tons. It has a unique motor with 62 cylinders that allows it to move slowly at 1 to 3 kilometers per hour. A cozy lounge with French doors, balconies, and an outdoor terrace is located inside. It provides three distinct 30-minute rides, making it an exceptional and memorable experience for everyone. Just keep in mind that it can only function during favorable weather. SOFI To investigate underwater environments, scientists are employing a unique robot fish known as SOFI. This robotic fish is capable of swimming in every direction and taking underwater photos. It even hears commands from divers via audio cues. It can be made to turn, move more quickly, or dive up and down. In the Pacific Ocean, they tested SOFI and discovered that it could swim from the surface to a depth of 18 meters. The robot fish is soft and gentle on the underwater creatures and it moves like a real fish. This innovative technology has the potential to revolutionize ocean exploration and education by simplifying the process and improving the welfare of marine life. Spider. The University of Tokyo's SPIDAR robot is capable of amazing feats thanks to the work of its researchers. It can fly in the air and crawl across the ground like a spider. At only 33 pounds, this robot is incredibly light and moves around with the help of thrusters and special engines. It moves with the help of these thrusters, not the silk parachutes that real spiders use. It has 16 thrusters in total. Each of its eight legs has four thrusters. When combined, they allow it to stand, walk, and even fly for approximately nine minutes before running out of power. Although it's still in its early stages, this represents a significant advancement toward the creation of robots that mimic real spider movement. <laughs>